the music that started right here in Detroit is being celebrated on stage once again as Motown the Musical makes its a return and final appearance in Detroit. That's right. And joining us now are three actors who are part of the show, Ariel Crosby, Matt Manuel, and Ayla Stackhouse. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for having, having us. This is so exciting. <laughs> Exciting must be playing Marvin Gaye. He's a genius. Absolutely. Amazing. It's one of the greatest honors I have so far. So far. <laughs> so far, yeah. So what's it like? You guys are all from Detroit. Now you're playing Motown mm -hmm. Legends. It's pretty surreal, you know, um, growing up here and growing up with the music. And I actually, I worked at the Motown Museum. And so Matt and I auditioned at the Motown Museum. That's where they had the open call. She talked me into auditioning. Yeah, because really? he wasn't going to come. I was not going to come. <laughs> now look at you, you Marvin Gaye. And right. Everything. You got a lead We're role and everything. We're your best life leveling up. This is amazing. So you had to talk him into it. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, tell us about the show. Is this somebody who hasn't been? Uh, how yeah. Does, how does it proceed? What's the... So it's the storyline of, or it's the story of Barry Gordy and how he created crossover music. He was inspired by uh, Joe Lewis and Max Schmeling, that, that historic fight, and it caused him to really feel inspired to create something along the lines of that, you know, that would be amazing and great for everyone. So he took that inspiration, created music, found people like uh, Diana Ross and Stevie Wonder, Marvin Gaye, um, just everybody that we know and love that we deem iconic today. Awesome. So, Ayla, let me bring you into the conversation. Who do you play? I play Edna Anderson, who was Barry Gordy, Perry Gordy's assistant. I should play Anna Gordy and Gladys Horton. So you've got a lot of different roles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That has to be hard. I'm sorry. That are challenges. Yeah. Yeah. You a have challenge. to keep your head on a swivel because yeah. you're always changing <laughs> who, who am you I? are. Right. right. Yeah. Wow. So you, you guys are all youngins. What do you think of the music? Because uh, it was it's, already 25 years old when I was a teenager. Mm. Yeah. It's timeless. Like, mm -hmm. I don't think it's, you know, predicated to that particular time period. There are people of all walks of life, of all ages, who can relate to this music because they told stories their songs mm -hmm. and I think that's what makes it so relatable it's like mm -hmm. I live this right. you know so it's yeah. still a message that's relevant today very that's amazing so what do you guys like best about the show oh my god uh, the energy of yeah. the mm -hmm. show and the energy that we get from the audience mm. because you know like a lot of shows you go and you're like okay I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna watch mm -hmm. and I'm gonna enjoy but this show you have to interact like yeah. you're you're in the show even if you're not in the show you're in the audience you're in the show absolutely yeah so that's one of the major things about this show that just really makes me happy every day yeah, yeah. you feed off that energy it's like when the crowd uh, is yes. high you're more high <laughs> especially on a two show yeah. deck Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I understand that you're going to give us a name that tune or a pop yeah. quiz. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Boy, yes. Day. So how's it going to work? Well, um, we have these clues on these cards. We're going to read it. And are the, I'm not sure if there's going to be a sound clip. Is there? There'll be a sound clip. All right, there'll be All a right. sound clip. All right. All right. And then you try to guess the, the name of the song in the group. All right, so or Ariel, artist. You have the first clue. I sure do. All right. Okay, this song was released as a single on June 17, 1964, entered the Hot 100 at number 77. Right. Six weeks later, the song was performed on Dick Clark's American Bandstand Caravan of Stars. The song mm. made it to number one for two weeks, spending a total of nine weeks in the Billboard <laughs> Top 10. <laughs> um, DJ Jason Carr? Oh, I thought we were going to play a sound clip. Okay, yeah, let's get the sound clip. Supremes, baby love. Yes. Yes. It's Supreme, where but love? where did our love go? There you go. All right. There you go. Right. He's the DJ. I didn't say that. Up in here. Right. He All song. right, so we got one. All right, okay. Matt. Yes. Released as a single by Gladys Knight and the Pips in September 1967, uh -huh. this song went to number two on the Billboard chart, released an by another performer in 1968. Grapevine. There you go. Wow. wow. DJ Grapevine. Wow. And now like that song it, it, I show. actually like the Gladys Knight version much better than I like the Marvin Gaye version. Oh, it's oh, oh. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So, all right. Ayla, number three. Another song recorded and made a hit by more than one Motown act. First, it was released by a duo in 1967. It became a hit again. In fact, Diana Ross's first solo number one hit on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. All right, I definitely need the sound clip for this. I have no idea. <laughs> 
Oh, Tammy Tyrell and um, I'm done. Marvin Gaye. Yep. <laughs> I, got, I got a hand from Jay in my ear. Is that what you? Is that the answer? Was it? Yeah, ain't no mountain high enough. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ain't no mountain high enough. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give it to you. All yeah. right, they got all three. Thank you guys, that was awesome. <laughs> Listen, that's why you have a DJ as your co-host, then you're yes. kind of winning at the same time. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank we you. Oh, thank you. you for having us. So Motown the Musical runs at the Fisher Theater tonight through June 10th. Tickets are available. What that a fun cool. segment. Thanks that for being in here, guys. Yes. <laughs>